trigonometry. Calculate the height of the post. So we're looking for x here. So based on this angle, that's the opposite side. That will obviously be the hypotenuse, and this one must be the adjacent. We're trying to find O, and we know about A. So from soccer to O, we must use tan of x is equal to O divided by A. So in this case, we have tan 67 is equal to x divided by 15. Take the 15 up and multiply, so we get tan 67 times 15 equals x. So tan 67 times 15, so the height would be 35.34 meters. A uh, ladder is 21 metres long, it's placed against a vertical wall. The foot of the ladder is 30 metres from the wall on the horizontal. Calculate the angle with which the ladder makes the horizontal. So, 21 metres for the ladder. Vertical wall, so this is the wall. And it's 13 metres away on the ground. Calculate the angle with the horizontal, so this is this angle in here, we'll call it theta. So this will be the opposite, this must be a right angle, so we've got H and A. So from soccer to over this time we have A and H, so we know that cos theta must be equal to A divided by H. So cos theta is equal to 13 divided by 21. So cos theta is equal to 0 0.61 dot dot dot. Shift cos the answer to find that the angle must be 51.75 degrees. Find the length of AE. So AE is this whole line here. So we are looking for what is the opposite. And we have the adjacent down here. So that's going to be tan. So tan 55 is equal to O divided by 7.2. So tan 55 times 7.2 will the side O. Tan 55 times 7.2. So it is 10.28 centimetres for O, so that is the line A to E. The angle ACD is this angle in here, theta. Now if we know this whole line is 10.28 and we've got 1.3 here, we can subtract that 1.3 to tell us that 8.98 is the distance here. This is the angle we're looking at, so this is the opposite and this must be the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. So for the bottom part we're going to use sine theta is equal to O divided by H. So sine theta is equal to 8.98 divided by 12.8. So sine theta is equal to 0 0.7 dot dot dot. Shift sine that on the calculator and we find that the angle is 44.57 degrees. Find the size of the angle marked X. So <coughs> The fact that they've given us this triangle and rectangle imply we're probably going to need them to work out what is going on in the top diagram. So, that has to be 15 there. And we're going to need to work out this height by here. So we're going to use this triangle to find the height here. And then we know that's the same and we can subtract it from 23. So in this triangle we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. So that's sine. So we know sine 56 is equal to O divided by 16. So sine 56 times 16 is equal to O. Sine 56 times 16. So we find that this is 13.26. So 13.26 is O. And then we're going to subtract that from 23 to find that this little bit in here is 9.7. So then in this triangle, we've got opposite and adjacent. So we can use tan of X is equal to 9.7 divided by 15. So we get tan of x is equal to 0 0.64 dot dot dot. Shift tan answer and we find 32.98 degrees is x. Sine and cosine rule. Calculate the length of BD. So label what we're trying to find A. If we look at the full triangle, we have two sides in the angle between, which means cosine rule will solve this question for us. So we're going to apply the cosine rule to the triangle. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Remember that's given to you in the exam. a squared is what we're looking for. b squared is going to be this side here because it's opposite b and we'll just 
refer to this as C, so that will be the side C. 8.7 squared plus 12.1 squared minus 2 times 8.7 times 12.1 times cos of 80. Don't type this all in in one go, work this bit out separately so the calculator doesn't get confused. So 8.7 squared plus 12.1 squared gives us 222.1 and then work this bit out. So it's going to be take away 2 times 8.7 times 12.1 times cos 80. So that's 36.5 dot dot dot. Then you do the subtraction and we find that a squared is equal to 185.54 dot dot dot. So a will be the square root of that number. So a will be 13.62. So that line across the bottom is 13.62. Calculate the area of the quadrilateral a, b, c, d. Quite a tricky question this one. We're looking for the area of this coloured in section here. That's the triangle. Quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So to do this, I'm going to find the area of the entire triangle, and then I'm going to find the area of this smaller triangle, and I'm going to subtract that from the larger one. So for the larger triangle, we're going to find that the area is a half A, B, sine C. Remember, the letters aren't really that important. It has to be two sides and the angle in between. So it'll be 8.7 times 12.1 times the sine of 80. So that then will be a half times 8.7 times 12.1 times the sine of 80. So the area of the entire shape is 51.84 centimetres squared. Now for the smaller triangle, again, I'm going to use the same rule, a half a b sine c, because I have two sides here and the angle in between them. So it's a half of 6.3 times 13.62 times by the sine of 25. So I find the area of the smaller one is 18.13 and then I'm going to do 51.84 minus 18.13 And I find that 33.71 centimetres squared is the area of the coloured in section. Diagram shows a quadrilateral again. The information has been filled in. Calculate the area of the triangle ACD. So ACD. So I'm going to need to use a half AB sine C. So I'm going to have to find this side here. <coughs> So I can use A, B, sine C. So to find this, I'm going to have to use the cosine rule on this triangle because I have two sides and the included angle. So cosine rule on this here gives me A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Again, always look for A, so we'll rearrange that to be A. So we've got A squared equals... 8.8 .8 squared plus 7.2 squared minus 2 times 8.8 .8 times 7.2 times cos of 84. So a squared equals, again work the two parts out separately just to make sure. So the first two bits added together give me 129.28. Work this lot out together, 2.8 times 8.7 times 7.2 times the cos of 84. And I find that's take away 13.09 dot dot dot. Do the subtraction. And I get 116.18. Square root it for A. 10.77. So this line here is 10.77. Now to find the area of this, I can use the area is equal to a half AB sine of C. So it's a half times 18.6 times 10.77 times the sine of 47. So, times 18.6 times 10.77 times the sine of 47. And I find that the area is 73.25 centimeters squared for that triangle there. Calculate the length of AC. So this time, I'm looking for the A up here. So I've got 
two sides and two angles and they are in opposite pairs so I can use the sine rule. So I've got A divided by sine A is equal to B divided by sine B is equal to C divided by sine C. Always look for A and then obviously change what you need to change to be B and C. Now the problem here is that I don't have the angle over here. However, because they add up to 180, the three angles, I can take 180 and I can minus the 41 and I can minus the 30. So I find that that must be 109 degrees. I can now say that A divided by the sine of 30 is equal to 12.6 divided by the sine of 109. So I want A on its own, so I'm going to take the sine up there. So I'm going to get A equals 12.6 times sine 30 divided by sine 109. So A equals 6.66 centimetres. And that's that question. Last one on the sine and cosine rule. Find the length of BC giving your answer to a suitable degree of accuracy. So BC is this line down here. To be able to find this, I'm going to have to find this angle line first so that I can then use the sine rule on this triangle. So for <coughs> the top triangle, it's going to be cosine rule. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So I'm looking for this side here. So it's going to be 28 squared plus 21 squared minus 2 times 28 times 21 times the cos of 97. So a squared equals 1, 2, 2, 5, subtract 2 times 28 times 21 times the cos of 97. So that comes out as minus 1, 4, 3. Point three dot 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 so this becomes a plus so I get the a squared is equal to one o and I don't one two two five plus one four three point three I get that is one three six eight point two square root that to find a and I get thirty seven centimeters for a so this side is 37 centimetres. Now in the second triangle I can use sine rule because I have these two matching pairs. So I can say that A divided by sine A is equal to B divided by sine B. So this is the side we're looking for. A divided by the sine of 23, which is opposite, is equal to 37, we just worked out, divided by sine 112. Take the sine 23 up, so I get A equals 37 times the sine 23 divided by the sine of 112 so that I get a is equal to 15.6 centimeters